As the shockwave from the explosion reverberates through the other Z fighters, nothing is left at the battleground other than a giant crater. Goku stands worn but victorious. He ponders on how Vegeta fought and even the slightest mistake would have most likely spelled his doom. But the determined prince isn't out yet as he launches a Kaioken times 20 and speeds towards Goku. Surprised but ready for more, Goku powers up himself as Vegeta is able to speed past him. However, Goku predicts this and is able to get in a kick. Vegeta can only float in the air powerless as Goku blasts him into oblivion. Firmly believing this time that the battle is won, Goku powers down as nearly all his energy has been depleted. But the Prince of All Saiyans proves himself to be the king of all surprises as he comes in barreling down just as Goku did to Piccolo in the World Tournament. King Kai wanders upon the situation as both warriors now lie in craters below. This looks to have injured Vegeta more than Goku, who rises above the area before landing in front of the prince. Vegeta tells Goku to do whatever he wants. He tried his best and it still wasn't enough. Just as Goku is about to strike him down, Majin Buu appears. In a retribution of Vegeta attempting to help Uu, Buu says he has come to return the favor. Vegeta tells him not to interfere because this is his fight. But Buu knows if he doesn't act, Vegeta will surely die. Sweeping the area to act as a distraction, Buu takes off but not before absorbing the prince. Tracking his key, Goku summons a spirit bomb. Buu remembers this as a technique that took out a sinister counterpart. Speeding up, he tries to shake him off. As the spirit bomb gathers energy, Buu begins increasing his key. The reasoning behind this confuses Goku and decides that if the Earth won't give him the energy he needs, then he'll just take it. Piccolo yells for everybody to put up a key shield as we see the life energy from every living creature on Earth being stolen. King Kai can't believe anybody would use his technique in such a way. Both warriors having decided they've harvested enough key, Goku prepares to launch the Genkidama as Boo splits into dozens of mini Boos. Goku continues to try and track which one he needs to be targeting, but proving more clever than he thought, Boo instantly drops the energy of every copy of himself, floating down to Earth. Boo tells himself that he must stay still. King Kai congratulates the brilliance of Majin Buu's tactics. While they're still in grave danger, with Vegeta alive, at least they have a chance. Keeping his focus, Goku believes Boo to be far more simple to resist using his key for long. As Boo lies still, he gets an unfortunate visitor. Goku continues to drain the earth of all available ki, which causes Boo's new friend to die. Remembering the death of B, Boo rushes to his aid to heal him, and all too easily, Goku teleports to his location. Majin Boo faces his death head on as he knows he has no hope of avoiding the attack. Moving out of direction of the dog, Boo thinks of Mr. Satan as a spirit bomb begins to take its toll. In the distance, the world champ sheds a tear but doesn't know why. With the death of Boo, Piccolo tells the others to summon Shenron instantly as King Kai gets a glimmer of hope the Z Fighters are unaware of. Showing is more than just a pink blob yet again, Majin Buu safely stored Vegeta and Oob before his demise.